Real quick before I start today's video, so I got these at Marshalls. I only got two things. It would be pointless to do a haul, so I'm putting it in this video with Cold Stone and Burlington because I went back to Burlington. But oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with Disney, you guys. And they have these beautiful lip palettes of Belle and Cinderella, and I cannot wait to use them. But anyways, enjoy the video. Hey, you guys. Cold Stone has a new flavor today, and I figured we would try it. It's been a hot second since I've been to Cold Stone. It's marshmallow ice cream. I actually got a gift card from one of my guy friends, Sam. Very nice of him. Him for Christmas to go to Cold Stone because not gonna lie I don't really go to Cold Stone like all that often but I'm like I should just try to use my gift card up I just don't go Mmm, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like it. Wow. Marshmallows, I love because it makes me think of summer. So I was like, I have to try. I was almost going to get it as like a s'mores version of like chocolate and graham cracker because I love s'mores. But with my peanut allergy, I would have had to request them to do it like off like their regular like surface, you know? And I didn't feel like being social enough to say it. Are these like cones any good? Because I love waffle cones. Oh, I think so. They give you so much. Never finished. I decided to treat myself to like the medium size because it was gift card. Thankfully it's cold outside so I don't think this is going to melt so I can save it for later. Yeah. I should show you guys a couple more things I got at Burlington. I just shopped at Burlington for the first official time. Technically when I was a kid, I might have shopped at Burlington, like out of my area one time, but I don't remember it. So recently was my first official time. I've been getting a lot of stuff for my childhood bedroom. Need some like extra storage stuff. My bathroom is an older bathroom. Well, because like the room was originally my dad's, but I'm borrowing it temporarily. And it's kind of an older bathroom because like his place has been around for a while. So I want a lot of my stuff to be in boxes so it can be like clean and like secured away. I'm just like a clean germ freak. <laughs> Because the bathroom's dirty. I need like a professional person to like really clean that bathroom. I don't show y'all, but it's so bad. But like it's to a point where like somebody professional needs to clean it. Would have loved to like clean more had I known about little stuff like that when I was younger. If I ever decide to have like kids someday, I don't even have a boyfriend right now. But anyways, my point is that I feel like I'd raise my kids to be so different. To look for cleaning details like that or to make sure like have their life like planned out or have like a purpose in life. I was like thinking about that today. Cause like with college, it took me like many years to figure out like my drive and what I wanted to do. I mean, if anything, I even had family members like telling me like, you know, maybe college isn't for you. Like college isn't for everybody, which like I understand that completely. And I still don't think it's for me, but I still want to like complete something in it. I haven't ate today, so I'm kind of devouring this. Oh good, wow. Ice cream is always a craving in cold weather. But let me show you guys what I got at Burlington real quick. My cat like scratched me accidentally today, you guys. It hurt so much. He got a little up here. Thankfully it's not too bad and I'm okay. He just always loves to get himself into trouble. He always likes to be on my side of the bed. He always likes to just beep up around on my dresser. And I don't like it. He's just causing trouble that way. And then this is what ends up happening. Look at that. Wow. At least it's gonna slowly heal now and it's not too bad. Yeah, go get animals. <laughs> No, I love my Jackson. We know this. Um, animals are worth it. They help with my anxiety and stuff a lot. I love them. And they're just like my children. So like seriously, when it comes to like relationships, like next time I'm in a relationship and if it's serious, like I'm going to be doing it like so differently than ever before. Like I'm going to be a lot more like private with it. Because like every time a guy dates me, I don't know why, typically the guy will just love to tell everyone or will be really private. I've had either way. And like, yeah, it's like weird. And like for me, like I love to tell my friends, but I keep it really private for my family because I want to make sure it's like a serious thing and then it ends up not being a serious things so then I don't have to tell them and they don't have to get invested but with friends I'm always like I have to tell someone so I always tell my friends but I feel bad because like when guys will tell their family and I won't even tell my family I'll like fear like they'll think like oh Melanie really doesn't like me when like that's so far from the truth but it's just like I'm a lot more guarded when I like someone <laughs> so that's why and I just don't want my family in my business with it until I know if it's like a serious thing because um, family loves to get involved so I just yeah that's why I just like don't like to like talk about my dating life with family because like I want to make sure it's serious like with my second relationship he only met like two of my cousins that wasn't even like supposed to happen for him to meet family it just happened because they were in town and I was hanging out with him so they met but honestly my ex didn't leave a good impression because then he was like i had to leave and like i wanted him to get to know them but he like had to get going with something so yeah that was a whole thing yeah my extended family have only met one ex-boyfriend so i don't know yeah next time i'm in a relationship things are just gonna be different until i'm married honestly <laughs> because like even with this like youtube channel like this is my channel you know it's always gonna be me so yeah speaking of me i got things from burlington i'm gonna show y'all this is actually really cute 
I love it. It says girl. It says one sugar and spice. That is honestly me to a T. I'm very sweet, but if y'all like really get to know me or especially if a guy can crack the code out of me, I can be a little spicy sometimes. So I'm just like, yeah, that's me. And then everything nice is number two because I'm like really nice, I feel like overall. Then number three is most precious to their mothers. And I actually thought that was kind of cute because I do think that's really true. Um, I don't know, like with my mom, like we're close, but I sometimes feel like we're not that close. And it's weird because like we're kind of like similar people, but at the same time, like we're really different. And I mean, granted, like she's my mom and I'm her daughter, like we're gonna be different. I'm in my young 20s. I won't say her age to difference, <laughs> but she's like way older than me. When you're in different ages of your lives, like how are you gonna be able to relate to each other? Sometimes I just wish we would understand each other better because of it, but it is what it is. And I still love her. I think it's really cute. And I'm also gonna use this box for period products. I just thought it was really fit and I'm gonna put my hair dryer in it, not gonna lie. My hair dryer needs like a new box. I love how big and spacious this is. And then I'll show you guys everything else. There's not that much. And we got another box. This is just my aesthetic. I love the pink and blue. I already got one. That's why I went back to Burlington today because I needed a few more things. I just need some like bathroom boxes to put all my stuff in, but I have one more thing inside of here actually. That's a different related thing, similar. So we have this pretty rhinestone. I'm gonna clean it up nicely a little bit. Oh, okay, this is from the front. And I'm gonna put like jewelry in here or like big necklaces. Nothing too crazy because at my dad's place, I do have like um, an old childhood like necklace holder that I actually want to put in my bedroom. I'm just trying to figure out the layout for it still. I'm really like blessed to have the room in the time being until I do get my own place. Cause then when I move out, I can help like move things out and move things around for him to use the room again. If I were to get engaged someday, I'd kind of like love a sapphire ring cause I'm a sapphire girl, but I don't know. I feel like I'll be the worst with like deciding that because like I'm not one of those girls that's like I want this ring. <laughs> I guess I would want like a princess cut ring because I feel like a princess. Pink girly aesthetic. Maybe rose gold would be cute. Maybe plot twist. My wedding dress will be like a light pink. I don't think so. I still want to be like a wifey, a bride, the color white. Don't think that's happening. If I did a second wedding, maybe. I love like light pink. It's so beautiful. I don't know. That's a long time coming, but I feel like I'll be like the worst of that kind of stuff because I'm going to have to go like ring shopping. Obviously, I don't want to know like when I'd get proposed to, but I would have to go ring shopping because I don't know what my ring would be or like even the size. I don't really wear like a lot of rings. I feel like a lot of the ones I own, I need to like resize. I just feel like my hands, weirdly enough, are small. I always thought they were like big, but they're actually small with a lot of rings. Or the rings are too small and then too tight. So rings are hard for me to find, honestly. Necklaces are better. I'm not a fan of bracelets because like they get staticky. I'm debating to extend like my first hole earrings a little bit. So far recently, like an update with that, they've been going in my ears okay, but I'm gonna talk to someone to see if like the hole needs to be a little bit extended or not. Cause maybe it doesn't, maybe it will genuinely be fine. And honestly, it wouldn't even be that much. Like I'm not doing anything crazy. It's just to see if like the earring can go in a lot smoother. So I don't have to like wiggle around in it all the time. Cause I still have to do that. But now that I have done that, I've gotten the hang of it. I'm just like not so sure. And then kind of just will go from there. Because honestly, I don't even know who I'd want to do it. <laughs> I don't know. We will see. I kind of really want my belly button pierced. But I don't know if I'm going to do it. I kind of want abs first. So we'll see. I just think it's something I really want to do. I'm just a big baby when it comes to piercings and like tattoos. And also like growing up, I was never really into like the piercings and tattoos. On my body, I was always really like minimalistic. I mean, I still am. I never wear jewelry. Jewelry, but the older I've become, I kind of like jewelry a little bit and it makes me look pretty and it just adds to outfits and fashion, you know, doing fashion school. Jewelry has a lot of good pieces that style together with clothes. And so I kind of like, I don't know, I've been getting new necklaces this year and I just like kind of love jewelry all of a sudden. I don't know, it's weird because I never really did because for like a long time I regretted getting my ears pierced because like I never put jewelry in. And now I've been putting jewelry on, it makes me feel better about myself and I actually like it. I don't know, but I've like thought about it long and hard. I'm really highly debating the belly button piercing. I'm thinking it's going to happen if I don't chicken out again I gotta find someone that I would trust to do it but I want like a sapphire like stud because that's like my birthstone I don't know I kind of want it like really bad my cousin I don't know how old she was she probably was like maybe in high school maybe you're not allowed to get your belly button piercing in high school definitely college not high school she had gotten her belly button pierced and I always kind of was like I want to do that you know like when you have a relative like you look up to of certain things like that when it came to like fashion and piercings that was definitely my cousin Taylor like what she loved I would want like she was obsessed for a period of 
time with Victoria's Secret Pink. That's why I'm obsessed with it. That's the real tea. It's because of my cousin. Because I guess growing up, I just like looked up to her and that was like her fashion style. So I wanted to be like her and have that be like my own fashion style, which is why I wear <laughs> literally VS leggings. Like I always wear leggings from VS. Sometimes other places too, but mostly it's from VS. I'm just obsessed with like the leggings or like a lot of my clothes are from Victoria's Secret. Not all of them, obviously, but most of them are. I feel like that phase, I'll never get past that. I feel like I'll never get over the Victoria's Secret era because like, you know, I had someone to look up to is why I had that love for Victoria's Secret, honestly. Because yeah, unfortunately, I haven't seen my cousin in a long time. I love her, miss her. But like, I've just like always been obsessed with pink because of her. And I think that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.